Jai Herbert versus Ludwig Klein. I want to go into full detail on this stylistic matchup and how I break down fights. And this is a great fight to dive into that. So styles make fights. And the interesting part about this fight is they're both strikers, but their builds and their weapons are completely different. You have one guy that's long and rangy that uses punches straight down the pipe and Jai Herbert, who who gets real confident with forward pressure. He likes leading the dance, but what's interesting is Klein likes being the counter puncher and receiving the dance, but he's got range kicks and hooks. So you're thinking, can Jai Herbert use his one-twos and pressure fight while Klein stays on the outside and tries to counter? Jai Herbert builds a lot of confidence, I notice, when people let him lead the dance. When you watch how they hop back and forth and you see how they're reacting and acting to each other, I just think this is the perfect matchup for both of them to shine. I just think it favors the guy with the better frame. I also think Jai Herbert has the slightly better grappling game. As Klein had just moved up to 155, uh, I think he was having cardio issues, with uh, 145 and his just being so muscular and the oxygen and the and levels and everything. Now, generally, the straight punches down the pipe will always counter hooks, but he does have that quick explosive twitch, Klein does, and he's very fast with his hooks and his lead head kick, which can counter a lot of things that Herbert does. But if Herbert uses his range well, there's no reason that he shouldn't be able to coast to a 29-28 decision or 30-27 decision, it's, it's the perfect style for him to be able to win this fight. But Klein's a beast, and you can never really gauge somebody's athletic ability when it comes to speed. And sometimes Herbert gets tired in the middle of his fight. It's kind of like Conor McGregor does when he starts huffing and puffing for air. He recovers from that, like almost like an adrenaline dump. And I think that'll be the moment where Klein, in like the middle of round two, could really catch Herbert slacking and hit him with one of them quick hooks or head kick when he's not exiting the pocket. Herbert does this thing like what he did with Ila Tapura. He takes photographs of his shots. When he got hit with that right hook, he sat in the pocket. He, he hit him clean, and he paused for a second. And that slight pause got him knocked out. Now, he looked real good against... Uh, <clears throat> his last opponent, I can't remember his name, but solid fighter. And then Ila Tapuria, he was piecing him up before he got knocked out. I mean, he looked really good. So I'm liking Jai Herbert slightly in this matchup. I could see Klein winning by knockout, but I can also see Herbert winning by decision. This should be a really good fight. Um, I just think Herbert's got the range, the tools, and Klein will let him lead the dance and use his range and one twos and um, he doesn't do well moving forward something else when i'm breaking down fights does that fighter mo do well moving forward or coming uh, moving backwards now herbert doesn't do well when people are pressuring him either like he's okay like he was getting real clean shots off on chapuria but when you let him lead the dance and and get off he does really well so i can see klein just letting Herbert do his thing and then never really being able to land one of his hooks so or kicks. The only issue I see is if Herbert starts slacking, pulls the Leon Diaz thing, turns off for a second, and then gets caught, or his cardio becomes an issue. Something else that also happens, Klein lets people push him up against the fence and stall him out there, it's something I could see Herbert doing. Uh, he's not a bad grappler. He got muscled around by somebody once, twice, but he's not hes not too bad either in that department. So um, Herbert's not a bad underdog. I would say this is kind of like almost like a coin toss fight. So take whoever you want. I think they'll both produce points on DraftKings, either knockout or, or Herbert by decision. There might be a couple knockdowns. Should be an exciting fight, though. There's a lot of good matchups on this card that are very underrated and being overlooked. And this is one of those fights. Second fight of the night.